up, Vikings Coach Vaughn? Today, I want to get into why your kettlebell windmill sucks. Now, the big confusion I'm seeing with this is everyone's treating it like a triangle pose that you would see in yoga with lateral lumbar flexion. And there, while there's nothing wrong with the triangle pose, it's not the same thing as the windmill. A windmill is a simultaneous hip hinge with spinal rotation as it's overhead, keeping your lat packed with the arm locked. It's not just a side bend movement, like a side crunch, as you would see in other false media. So the best one to start with for beginners, and I uh, recommend using a knee pad for this, is starting in an open kneeling position. So this is the half kneeling position, and I still see people do it in a half kneeling, and they try to shove it right here. Remember, all that hip hinge has to have some traction, so you gotta open that rear foot right there. See that? So now my hip, can push back. And I like to find that crease in my hip to push toward the walls you see here. And my spine will rotate and I'll look gently up and down. Once you understand that, then you can add the kettlebell. What I like to do is just get it in the cheek lean position. The meat of it should be at the heel of my palm. Get a nice vertical forearm, press it overhead, fully lock it out with your lap pack. It should not have any less space like this, it should be nice and driven down, arm locked, wrist neutral, and you wanna focus having the eye gaze forward, and then you're gonna gently look up, and if you want, you can put this base hand down and then gently load it like a get up. And then you can unload this hand, come up, look forward. So notice how my eye gaze looks gently up. I'm not shoving my head up there or kinking my neck. I'm looking up more so with my eyes and creating that nice solid stability. And then when you own it, use this hand like a bow and arrow to pack this lat and see if you can do it without it. Coming nice and gently up. Fully extend that hip, squeeze the glutes, lats packed. Gently look up at the bell. Gently look at the horizon straight forward. And uh, for you coaches that want like to coach this, um, you can be behind someone, hold it with one hand, make sure it stays stacked in alignment, and then pull their shirt so that forces them to go on that hip hinge. You'll get a much better feedback and get a better path guided for that. Now, if you don't have a partner with this, you can use a band, as you see here, anchored to the wall, and you just put it around your mid thigh that's gonna go on the extending leg. Make sure you get your feet at a 45 degree angle. And then you'll pick up the kettlebell. Once again, that, get that sheet clean, press it overhead. And now on this level two, we're gonna focus now still using that band to pull you, to keep the hips stacked over, doing the same thing as we did in the opening position. But now I really gotta squeeze that glute because I don't wanna finish like this. Squeeze that glute with full hip extension. And what's hard about the windmill and that wire car so much flexibility is as I'm rotating, this load is going on this foot. So you have to press this heel down hard into the ground and then come up with that tension. Same thing as we did with the eyes looking up, keeping that spinal alignment, looking up. What you don't wanna do is let it win and then you dump your shoulder and you're going like this. So this is not the same thing, going with the side bend. That's more lateral lumbar flexion. That's what we don't want. So notice the difference between that and then drive that heel. Drive, 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 drive. Come up nice and tall, squeeze that glute, gently bring it down. And that is how you get a stronger windmill using the open kneeling and standing with the band as we did there. Now, if you'd like to see more, check out my new book, The Kettlebell Weights. It features over 100 different pages, breaking down your swings, cleans, snatches, get up, squats, all in detail all in one source. You get now on amazon.com. This is Coach Vaughn signing off. Hope you have fun with that.